Welcome along, welcome to the Sunday edition, which you will be watching on a Monday. It's going to be absolutely invigorating today because uh, it's been rainy all weekend and I've not gone into work on Sunday. Tomorrow, because tonight, which is Saturday night, and I'm filming this cheekily early, so I'll get the day off tomorrow, uh, I am having a binge on the beers which were kindly sent to me by Dude's Brew. Cheers, brother. And, uh, yes, some people, some of his subscribers on his 700 subs competition nominated me in the comments for this surprise beer mail. And, wow, yeah, you know, I'm uh, certainly not the most worthy winner. There are a lot of people out there doing a lot more for the homebrew community than I am. I'm simply feathering my nest. Well, you have to, don't you? Charity starts at home, as they say. But kindly, he did send across a Chevy's Pale 4.4, a Pivo Pills at 5.1, and a Smashed Mosaic at 4.5. We're going to dive into these today. We're going to talk briefly about each one. And uh, hopefully by the end of it, I should be sure my speech a little bit more than I am now. Let's get on with it. So the first one we're cracking into is the Pivo Pills, which is a Pilsner. Coming in at 5.1% 40 IBUs. We have Vyman's Pilsner Malt in there, Magnum, Tetanang and Saphir Hops. And the yeast is a WLP 802. One or two of these were bottled off the keg, I believe he said, but I cannot remember which, so just enjoy the freaking pour, baby. Oh yeah, that looks like a lovely clear beer with a cracking looking head on the top of her. Pouring very nicely. How's that for a pint? Check it out. Just check it out, folks. Go on then, up to me with the camera. That's it. Jesus Christ. Right, let's dive in. So this is the Pivo Pills from Dude's Brew. Thank you very much, Squire. Dunzi Hatch. Mmm. It's juicy. It's like I've just bitten into a really nice, golden, delicious apple. Oh, I'm drooling. All oh, my mouth is just full of the juices from this very well presented beer. It's freaking top draw, man. So what I'm gonna do is sit down in front of the television God, I've not even made a pills on this good. And I'm going to watch a bit of TV and enjoy the beverage. And we shall come back and uh, we'll dip into the other two beers now that the fridge has kicked in for some reason. Don't know if you can hear it. Crashing the audio. Right, we'll be back in about that long. <laughs> yes, all right, as you can tell by the uh, blusher that this beer has applied to my face, I certainly was 5.1%. And very damn tasty too. Thank you very much, dude. Let's have another one of your brews. So what we're going to go in for this time is probably the Smash Mosaic. See, what I'm doing is going in order of lightness of the beer. The Pilsner first, the Smash second, because it's got Vienna malt in there. And then we've got an American Pale, which is going to be the heaviest. So I'm not going to destroy my palate before we get there. This smashed mosaic at 4.5%, 31 IBUs. Hope you can see that nicely. Like I say, the light's not great. And it is now approaching half past eight. So the malt we have in here is Vienna. I am expecting this to be somewhat chewy on the palate, quite heavy. And the hops are mosaic. And then we've got a Bavarian lager yeast in there. So maybe it's thinned out in that respect because we've got the lager yeast in. But generally, People don't tend to brew with Vienna malt uh, straight up. You're usually going to use some type of pale malt or lager malt and Vienna to add a touch of the flavor. But I have brewed one myself and uh, I have also tasted a few. Simon Brown sent me one. Just rinse the glass. And uh, I believe a couple of years ago I even sent Tom a recipe for a like literally I sent him the grain in a bag for a Vienna Lager wouldn't have had mosaic hops in there though so let's give this a little pour give it an SJ pour hey like the old days so that looks really good again poured perfect carbonation for me I want to be able to give the bottle a little bit of a shizzle 
and we don't want streaming carbonation coming up the grass glass we're not drinking fosters are we so mm, smells nice just gonna enjoy these beers guys I'm not going into depth too much with uh, all of the mm, I get a little bit of grape au pain, mustard and mm, lychee and all that stuff that's for another day Oh, that's mosaic for sure. And the Vienna malt is just smooth. That is really well brewed. Fucking hell, man. That is really well brewed. The mosaic is shining through on that. Wowzers. Congratulations, sir. That, without a doubt, is an exquisite homebrew. You really have battered it out of the park with that one. Right, I'm going to go and sit back in front of my film. And uh, enjoy this beverage. And we'll be back quicker than a flip of a kipper's knickers. You come up with a better saying, I don't know. Fantastico! This is the kind of trouble I get myself in when it is ten to nine on a Saturday night and Gemma's left me home alone and somebody sent me homebrew. Frig yeah! Stoke pipe! <laughs> Cut! Start again. Right. We're going in for the Chevy's Pale. Now this isn't the biggest hitter of the batch. Can you hear the slur creeping in? It's amazing. Uh, this is 4.4% with 34 IBUs, an American pale ale made from, it says pale ale malt, it's going to be Propino, Vienna malt, Car Munich 2, and the hops are Chinook, Mosaic and Citra, which is a fantastic combination, I might add, and the yeast is Imperial A15, new one on me. Let's uh, crack this bad boy open. And it's warmed up a little bit now. You see the condensation on the uh, on the bottle. Groovy like a driving movie. This one's a little bit more carbonated, or you might say that the temperature of the beer has released the gas from the product. Because as it warms up, it, as the liquid warms up, it can't hold as much CO two. Pissed science. That could be a freaking YouTube channel. Pissed science. Anyway, let's get to the stage where I should not be broadcasting on YouTube. Considering the amount of alcohol I have consumed this afternoon, so let's get into this IPA. It smells good. If it's as good as the other two beers I've had from the dude, then frig, I'm in for a treat. Cheers, man. American Pale. Why am I singing so much now? And you see how this has like gone downhill, or as some people might say, in my opinion, uphill. So I'm going to sit down and uh, I'm watching a film called Beautiful Things, I think. Beautiful Creatures from 2013. Never seen it before. It's a kiddies film, really. I don't know why I'm sat there watching it on my own at 9 o'clock on a Saturday night. But fucking party, that's why. I'll probably edit that bit out. Well, I must say that uh, having drunk that Chevy's Pale, I have uh, reflected somewhat on A, the amount of pissedness that I have received this afternoon, uh, free of charge, kindly donated by Dude's Brew, and of course, that I have been making YouTube videos now since 2012, maybe a little bit before, and I can't remember once when I've been sent Three homebrews that were so freaking good. I mean, I'm not kidding you. These beers were top of the shop. And alas, they are all gone. So I'm now going to have to hit my Keep It Simple Pale Ale that I did the other week. And uh, after today's insight, a behind the scenes, if you will, on what happens to Harry when he's not at work and he's home alone from seven o'clock till half past nine as it is now. Yes, if there is homebrew there, I'll get freaking trolled on it. I promise though, folks, 
I've got to that. <laughs> I've got tomorrow off, which is Sunday, because I filmed Sunday's vlog Saturday evening. Up here for thinking and all that. So uh, I will not be hungover or anything for Monday. A normal service will be resumed. And hopefully next week we get the elements. We do a caustic brew. And then we are looking seriously at making freaking beer. So I will see you tomorrow. Cheers. <laughs>